Stop the killing. Stop the hate. Stop the killing machine in Syria. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining in this march and this demonstration this morning on this holiday weekend. My name is Tom Andrews. I am the president of United to End Genocide, the nation's largest activist organization opposing genocide and acts of mass atrocity. And I want to tell you on behalf of the thousands and thousands of our members all across this country, we stand with you. We stand with Syria. We stand with those who are in harm's way as we speak. We stand, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in this town and this nation must know that we stand with the families of the tens of thousands who have perished at the hands of the killing machine of Bashar al-Assad in Syria. We stand today for the thousands and thousands of people who have been wounded by this brutal machine. We stand today by the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who have been forced from their homes. And we stand today with the two and a half million people that the United Nations tell us have been severely affected by this brutality. This brutality cannot stand. This brutality should not stand. And this brutality will not stand if we stand together with Syria. United to End Genocide has been working hard to tighten the noose on this regime, tighten the resources that continue to flow into it, and then used to massacre people. We've been calling for tougher economic action, diplomatic and economic sanctions. We have been following the money and stopping the flow of money from companies that would seek to profit from these atrocities. But closer to home, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you know this story because it's still going on in Washington, we learned that the Pentagon, the Pentagon is purchasing weapons in a no-bid contract to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars from the company that is the principal supplier of weapons to the Assad regime. Our Pentagon, our Pentagon. So we went to the Pentagon and 30,000 of our members joined us in asking Secretary Panetta to stop the contract and end it once and for all and stop forcing American taxpayers monies into the pockets of these suppliers of weapons. Well, they didn't listen. So we went to the Congress of the United States and just a few weeks ago, on the floor of the United States House of Representatives, we proposed through G Congressman Jim Moran an amendment to the defense bill that said, no more will the United States be putting a penny into the pockets of those suppliers of weapons to Bashar al-Assad. There was a tough vote, a tough debate, but when the smoke had cleared on the House of Representatives, we prevailed by a vote of 407 to 5. We're cutting off those contracts. We're cutting them off. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a long way ahead. And there are many, many recommendations and, 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 and proposals for the kinds of action that should be taken and can be taken to stop the carnage. And there's an honest debate about those actions what will work, what will not work. But there's something we want to be very clear to our leaders in this town about what action should or should not be acceptable. And that is this. Debate, engage with what action we can take to stop the carnage. But Mr. President, members of Congress, inaction is not an option. We stand with the Syrians who are under siege right now. And so on this Labor Day weekend, when Americans across the country stop and pause and enjoy their families, we are going to use, as we are this morning, our freedom to join with our families and stand with the families 
of Syria who are under siege. Mr. President, we are all Syrians. Thank you. Free, free Syria! Free, free Syria! Free, free Syria! There's people that say what's going on in Syria is a civil war. That's not true. Is it true? killing its own people. And it doesn't matter if you're Christian, or if you're Alawi, if you're Sunni, if you're Shia, the Syrian people are one.